Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm shooting this video today. It's gonna be probably the first of many videos I'm gonna shoot on the brand new Eco Rinse Machine that I partnered up with AR North America. It's a pressure washer company to basically create. Uh, when I approached them about four months ago, there was nothing like it on the market. Uh, well, especially that they produced. I called a couple other pressure washer companies as well. I chose to deal with AR North America because, well, I've been using their stuff for a while and it's pretty good. So uh, if I can use it as a professional detailer, uh, then I'm obviously going to you know, promote it and, and send it your way. And that's really where we're at today is, uh, because there was nothing like the Eco Rinse Machine on the market as far as specs wise, uh, we were able to create it and now I can produce it and share it with you. So with all of that said, we have the half of a gallon per minute pump. Uh, it is a misting pump, um, not a pressure washer pump. It's kind of similar, but not quite uh, far less uh, flow than a pressure washer pump would have. And it also is, it, it's been producing 1100 PSI consistently. Uh, there is one particular key element that makes it produce that pressure. So if you were to get creative and try to build one yourself, you'd, uh, it would take you a little while to figure out what's going on. But basically, you couldn't do it for the price that I'm going to sell them for, which is $750 plus actual shipping. So um, the other cool element to this is that it only draw, draws around five amps, uh, whereas the traditional electric pressure washer is gonna draw around 15 or more amps. So less power consumption, so you can use a smaller generator, uh, less water consumption, so you can carry a smaller tank of water and the biggest benefit there is two things. Uh, first of all, obviously, the smaller the tank, the less the weight in your vehicle, uh, the better fuel economy you're gonna get. But beyond that, the smaller the tank, the more space you have. So if you are just building a system around the Eco Rinse machine, you will be able to have a smaller vehicle to make all of your whole detailing situation work. So that's a huge benefit. You don't need a big van anymore, guys. I haven't had a, a big vehicle or even a trailer that I, I pulled around for detailing in years. Uh, everything I need fits in the back section of uh, my truck bed. So uh, that's a pretty cool thing. So anyway, I've got the Eco Rinse Machine. It's good to go. I've made one small modification to it since I got it just the other day. I, I, this is the final prototype, the actual production unit that I have. The only thing I did was uh, on the wand, I actually just added a piece of uh, rubber hose because the actual sp spray nozzle in there is metal and it makes me just feel more comfortable. I never, when I was using it, and I've, I've only used it a few times um, to wash probably four vehicles so far, I never felt like I was close enough with it where I was gonna damage the paint or hit it on something, but you never know, and it just makes me feel better to have this rubber tip on here. So that's a modification that I made. I'm gonna relay that to the folks over there at AR North America, and the production units uh, will most likely have a uh, rubber covering over the spray nozzle. So that's just something that makes more sense to me. And I can tell you, here's the thing, I've already been asked questions about this nozzle. Can you use it as just a, just a standard gun with the nozzle here? The answer is yes, but where I'm at with it is, I have found that when I'm, because it's only 1100 PSI and you don't have that crazy overdoing it flow that other pressure washers have. Um, I find that the, the wand really comes in handy, especially doing fender wells and wheels and even the tops of the vehicles. And you can see I've got my uh, F-150 behind me. I'm actually going to be washing that with this unit. I'll shoot some video. Uh, this is gonna be kind of a longer video. Uh, I wanna give you all the information on the Eco Rinse Machine and show you know do a little demo on it. Uh, I might break it up into two, so you might see this section on the actual unit, and then the next video. Actually, let's let's do that. So this is part one. You'll see part two. Part two will, will be me actually using uh, the unit on uh, my truck. It's kind of dirty, and we'll go with, into that in a minute. But anyway, so I added the rubber 
uh, hose piece, j literally just a piece of rubber hose just to make me feel better. Uh, no chance now of damaging the paint uh, if the tip of this thing hits it. Uh, so that's good. Uh, I used some really sturdy uh, hose that I had laying around. I've got a ton of it. So uh, we'll see. Maybe, maybe if uh, they can't do something about it, I'll show you where to get this hose. Anyway, this is the gun that it comes with. Uh, it's uh, this whole thing is a commercial grade unit. This is designed to be used every day uh, People were asking me about warranties and the way that this whole thing is going to work uh, AR North America this division the commercial division that I'm dealing with to produce these things They do not sell direct to consumer. They only sell to companies who are going to use these things uh, and purchase large quantities of them uh, or they will sell to resellers so I have a deal with them where they're gonna sell this configuration only to me to launch to the detailing market. So you will only be able to get this configuration from me. And like I said, there's a particular element to this thing because it was a modified misting system, essentially. So look those up. You won't find one uh, with this configuration uh, for less than the price that I'm selling them for. But beyond that, uh, you'll, you'll most likely find that most of the companies that sell the missing systems, which will not do this, it will not work as a pressure washer if you buy a misting system. The cost of buying it, then modifying it, sends it straight up in the air. I mean, there's a lot to this. So I urge you, because I know how it a lot of you guys are you do-it-yourselfers you want to think you think oh well maybe i won't buy it from gary maybe i'll build it myself that's cool um you will have a hard time doing it first of all but beyond that uh it's going to cost you more than you can just buy it from me for for i mean that's the bottom line so they'll be available on detailjuice.com for 750 dollars plus actual shipping and how that will work is you will purchase it from me i will then purchase it from AR North America. They will custom assemble each one and then they will drop ship it to you. So as far as warranty goes on the misting system that this was based on, loosely based, we had to change a lot of things to make it work. Basically the only thing is uh, that's the same is the pump and the base. Um, all of the other configuration had to be modified including, including using a different motor. Um, but as far as the system goes, uh, you're going to be able to purchase it from me. I'm going to order it and have it delivered to you because that's how they run things over there. Um, so your lead time, I'm going to estimate would be about a week before it's shipped because they are going to be custom built per order. Um, it's totally worth it. When you, when I do the demo on this thing, you're going to be like, wow. Uh, it's a little bit of a learning curve over having all that runoff that you are used to with those bigger pressure washers, but using less water is way better, not only on the environment, but on your pocketbook in the long run. But when you see the lack of runoff on the ground, you're going to be amazed. So, um, it, it's something that I'm going to adopt very fast into my detailing regimen. Uh, I like traditional washing. I still prefer rinseless washing over it, uh, but I can't change everybody's mind about this, but I can continue to innovate and make things more efficient for everyone to use. So if you're gonna do a traditional wash, this is the way you're gonna save yourself some money, some headaches, some space, some time, all of that. Um, uh, AR offers a one-year warranty uh, on the parts of the unit. So one year will be the warranty through AR. You will not warranty it through me. Once you get your unit, you're going to deal directly with AR North America. So you'll have to purchase through me and deal with AR North America, which is awesome because who wants to deal with a middleman when you have to get to work and make money? So you'll d deal directly with them on warranty issues. Again, it's a commercial grade unit. It is designed to be used every single day as much as you want to use it and they'll give you a one year warranty on that. Um, the hose is a very high quality uh, wrapped hose. It seemed to be maybe 
nylon of some sort but it's a very high quality commercial grade grade hose it will the unit will come with a 30 foot hose now if you want to extend that hose you can you can go uh, to northern tool or i don't know if harbor freight would sell anything like this high quality hose but i know northern tool does you can also uh, pick that up from uh, either i might add uh, an extension as an accessory uh, through them that they would ship with your unit but i can tell you the longer the hose with any pressure washer the longer the lead from the pump to where it's spraying out um, the the more drop in pressure you'll get but with this 30 foot and you'll see even my full-size truck in the next video i'll be able to go all the way to the back uh the unit currently and i'll show you the configuration is on a little dolly uh it'll come on mounted on a plate with rubber feet that come with it um i've got it on a little wheel dolly right now but if if you use it like i'm going to show you uh, 30 feet is plenty and you'll get, you'll get a solid 1150 PSI is what I'm getting 11 between 11 and 1200 PSI consistently um, and realistically if you added another 25 foot length you might be still at about a thousand PSI but just keep in mind we're selling it with a 30 foot extension because that's all I feel like you need but beyond that if you want more you can have it um, again with the the gun uh, I personally prefer having the wand on there, so that's the way it's going to be sold. Can you modify it? Can you get another wand? Absolutely, but the unit or the units are going to come just like this because that's how I like it. Quick disconnects, high quality uh, brass disc. Quick disconnects. Um, you're going to have quick dis disconnects on the whole unit. Uh, like I said, I'm going to see if they can add that rubber piece to the front or to the tip. I'm going to take you off the tripod right now and just bring you over to the unit. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do today is I'm going to see if I can wash my whole truck with this five gallon carboy full of uh, deionized water. I've modified it uh, and added a spigot. I put uh, just a, a hose extension on there. So you got your input. This is a uh, threaded deal for your hose. This is your pressure regulator. I've got it cranked down to all the pressure right now. Um, you've got a gauge here where you can tell what pressure uh, you're getting. You've got your high quality pump here and that's the pump model number. They sell that pump, you can buy that. Um, this particular unit is a one third horsepower motor uh, it has an on-off switch here. Uh, it also will come with, uh, I believe this is 25 foot of electrical cord with a GFCI. So it's, uh, it's grounded and it is fused. Basically a breaker. So that is the unit. It will come mounted to this plate. It will have these rubber feet. Um, they do not come on the unit. You have to screw them in. No, nothing fancy. You can absolutely unbolt this unit and bolt it to your rig however you'd like, but it does come with this plate. So that's a good situation. Um, very high quality industrial unit. That was something I stressed to them as I wanted it to be high quality. Um, I would rather pay more money uh, for a higher quality unit than a commercial grade, or I'm sorry, than a uh, consumer grade unit. So this is where we're at. Again, I'm going to try to use just this five gallon carboy worth of water on my entire truck. And that's going to be in the next video. Uh, as far as, um, can you run the pump when you're not spraying? Now, the answer to that is, you really should not ever leave a pump running because it will get hot. Heat kills everything. Um, again, oh, I didn't mention that. There's your uh, oil uh, viewing situation. It will come loaded with oil. Um, it does tell you what oil it takes. Uh, you will have all the information as far as, you know, 
when you need to change the oil and that kind of thing when you purchase it it will come with that information um, but literally it comes out of the box just like this you connect your input to it connect your hose it's all ready to go you plug it in put some water into that bad boy and she works flip the hose on and that's it flip the switch and that's how quiet it is very very quiet very efficient very compact that whole unit right there weighs just under 50 pounds just so that you know how much weight you're looking at but um just to put it into perspective here's i got an ounce of evo shampoo i'll be using on my truck and then a little over a gallon of water but just to put it into perspective there's a bucket of water next to the unit so not a big unit at all she might have a problem with that but who knows <laughs> anyway so that's the eco rinse machine a half of a gallon per minute flow and that is based on the pump that's where that number comes from the psi will get up to like 1200 uh, but we're consistently uh, just over 1100 psi every time i've used this thing so you should get at least 1100 psi out of this thing and the amperage draw it might be rated might be on the motor half of a, oh this is a half of a horsepower pump not a third i was wrong i apologize um that's the specs on the motor just so that you can see all that um it doesn't say amps on there but per what I've been talking to them about, it's a U.S. Motors half of a horsepower. So, there you go. My mistake. Anyway, they're assembled here at the AR North America plant. And that's that. If you guys have any other questions for me, feel free to send me a message. Ask the questions. You don't know unless you ask. But again... I'm going to finalize everything with AR North America the first week, week in January. These things should be available to you guys uh, very soon. It's most likely going to be right at a week lead time for shipping, but they will ship direct from you. So they'll be on my, my site for purchase. Uh, feel free to call me uh, for, you know, you know, to ask questions about it and that kind of thing. Uh, but part two of this two-part series is going to be me showing you using it on my truck and I'm gonna do that now. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you got questions, 813-846-4406, check out detailjuice.com. And if you wanna be a part of something bigger than detailing, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my stuff. There'll be a lot of information about the Eco Rinse Machine in that group as well. There already is, there will be more. So uh, thanks so much for watching and check out part two, which I'm going to shoot right now. Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much.